Well, it's Thursday, and you know what that means. It's time for our weekly tech report. And there is a lot coming out of the tech world this week, so let's get straight to it. Joining me today is Carl Franzen. He's a reporter from The Verge. All right, first topic, uh, CISPA, and this one is a doozy, Carl. A last-minute amendment to the Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act was blocked by members of the U.S. House of Representatives. The amendment would have essentially banned employers from forcing workers to hand over all of their social media passwords. The provision was actually proposed by Congressman Ed Polmutter um, and was voted down 244, or, uh, 224 excuse me, to 189. What does this mean for employees? Uh, sure. Uh, that's a great question. Um, I think that uh, when we look at the kind of the social media laws that have been passed so far in different states, uh, it seems like they were trying to do something similar here on CISPA and tack that on to the end. Uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. It doesn't look like the actual bill itself is going to move much further uh, than it has already. It's, it's already passed the House of Representatives, but it still needs to go through the Senate, get passed there, and then uh, to President Obama's desk. And uh, the Obama administration has already issued a very strong uh, statement of administration policy, is what they're called. And uh, this basically says that, you know, CISPA in its current form is, is uh, not something that the president will be signing. It, in fact, he would veto it if it came to his desk because uh, it does not contain strong enough privacy protections. So uh, not only that, but we've also heard uh, indications today there was a representative uh, spokesperson, I should say, from the, uh, the Senate uh, Committee on uh, Commerce and Science and Transportation, which would be the one in charge of the, the Senate version of CISPA. And uh, the, that, that person spoke to uh, several media outlets, uh, including U.S. News and World Report, and said that the Senate doesn't seem to have any intention of picking up CISPA in its current form. So it seems like we might end up uh, with uh, a similar situation to what we had last year in 2012 when CISPA also passed the House, but it just did not move on to the Senate or ever to uh, the President's desk. So it looks like it might just stall out again. Yeah, and he always has the, the veto power. Now, let's go back to this topic of, of being able to access passwords. I understand that several states already banned this practice. Was it struck right. down because it was such a last-minute ad, or because it's something that the states would deal with, or because Congress members really believe that employers should have unabided access to workers' lives? Well, it's an interesting issue, and, and, and you know, I think it is one that uh, people are increasingly going to have to grapple with, both on the state and federal level, uh, you know, uh, lawmakers themselves, but also big companies like Facebook and, and Twitter and other social networks that people use a lot more nowadays. But, uh, I mean, so far it seems like the federal government has taken a hands-off approach. This was an interesting, you know, last-minute addition or curveball. There's been some uh, attempts also previously last year, uh, I believe Senator Blumenthal, uh, may have introduced a, a similar bill uh, on its own, but uh, don't quote me on that. That's that could right. be incorrect. I haven't checked in, 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 in a little while. But point is that people are attacking it from all levels of government. Um, it seems like that's going to be something that, that they will look into uh, on the federal level, if not in CISPA, you know, in another form, perhaps separately. All right, so let's move on to the next topic up for debate. A possible sure. update to the Electronic Communications Privacy Act of 1986. The House yeah. and the Senate have taken up legislation, uh, legislation. They are taking it up next week. They've already debated it. Um, to require police to obtain a warrant in order to search email and other private online content, the current ECPA law only requires a subpoena for all emails that have been opened or for those that are more than 180 days old. How likely is this reform to pass through both, both branches? Again, this, we're seeing an issue that was similar to uh, what we saw last year. Uh, the ECPA, or ECPA, uh, it's a hard one to pronounce because it is uh, you know, just a bunch of letters mashed up there. But uh, we, we saw a similar issue last year where it went through, got through the, the same committee that it did today, the Senate Judiciary Committee, which uh, is uh, chaired by uh, Patrick Leahy, the Democratic senator of Vermont. And now, uh, this, is basic, this bill is basically his baby. I mean, he's been trying to push this for uh, I, I would say about three or two or three years now. So last year he got it, managed to get it through his own committee, which was you know a mild success. He's done it again this year. Um, you know, again we'll see if if the rest of the Senate decides to move forward on it. It does have the strong backing of privacy advocates like the Electronic Frontier Foundation mm -hmm. and Google. Uh, you know the 
the, the search company or the internet company. So there's a lot of people outside of government that do want to see this uh, go through and, and believe that it is necessary to uh, you know, keep emails uh, and other electronic communications secure and, and really Carl. treat them. And, Let's yeah. move on to, uh, one more time to the final topic. Senator Jay sure. Rockefeller said this week that legislation for the do not track option for Internet users will pass this year. This option would penalize businesses for ignoring consumer wishes to not be tracked online. But Carl, everyone thinks that this is a good thing. The only debate is whether they should have to click a button to say I do not want to be tracked or whether it should just be automatic. So what is taking so long for this to pass? You know, it is a, a great question. It's funny that you say that. We were having this debate uh, over at the Verge uh, New York City office earlier today about what the holdup might be. It has been a long time coming. Uh, I think that uh, a lot of what has emerged, at least publicly at this point, is that uh, advertising companies, online advertisers, and their associations are, are a bit resistant to uh, really endorsing this wholeheartedly. I mean, a lot of them did come on board when it was first introduced, but now they're trying to water it down and say that, you know, there should be exceptions in this or that case because they do want to be able to deliver targeted advertising through uh, web browsing histories and your activity online. So that and you, Carl, you know, when I'm going to have to end it there. Unfortunately, we, sure. we are out of time. No. This is a fascinating discussion. Carl Franzen, reporter from The Verge.